What's going on, everybody? This is Chaplain Gilliam coming to you with another encouragement for today. Once again, if you guys like these, go ahead and uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell because I'm going to try to do these pretty often. And I don't want you to miss out on all of this encouragement that I want to give out. Uh, and I'm going to try to mix some things up too, not just words of encouragement, but some longer stuff that I want to get into, maybe do Bible study. And I don't want you guys to miss out on any of that. So make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see when it's coming out. So today I want to give some encouragement that's really uplifting. I was thinking about this. We've had a rough couple years. I mean, since 2020, things have been like, things have been crazy. I don't know about y'all. But the last couple years have been absolutely nuts. And so in the Gilliam household, we've been trying to figure things out since 2020. And I feel like we're starting to bounce back. Have you ever had that moment where things have been going wrong for so long and you finally hit that spot where you're like, I think things are going to be okay. I, th I think I'm ready for whatever's next. That's the, that's the thought that I've been in all day today. And that thought took me to this psalm. Now, psalm is like a song in the Old Testament. And this particular song was from Psalm 30. The author of this psalm is King David. King David was, was looking at his entire life experience and he's, he's actually at the dedication of this temple he built. He built it to God and uh, he's thinking back through his life and all the ups and downs. And if you know anything about David's life, uh, he, he, your boy been through some stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, he, he had a dude murdered. He's been hunted. He, he got his side chick knocked up and then and then the baby died. I mean, his, his, his life was crazy. But one thing about David, man, he loved God. He loved God so much that once he got to dedicating this temple to God, he reflected back on his life and it drove him to write a song. And that's where we are in, in Psalm 30. Psalm 30, I'm going to pick it up in verse 4. It says, Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Man, like I said, I know we've been through some stuff the last couple years. I know people have had their ups and downs. Um, there's some of us, we have, we've had some family members that didn't make it through the last couple years. I know of a couple folks like that. I know some folks that they lost a job. They lost friendships. They're trying to figure out what's what's going on in the world. It's, it just seems like people are more and more losing their common sense. And I'm not even going to talk about Will and Jada. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy, right? And the more we reflect on what we've been going through in life, when we sit back and we have these moments where we can we can see the light at the end of the tunnel, and we can say, man, that, that stuff was temporary, but I can see the joy coming. Let me encourage you. If you're in that spot where you don't know if the joy is coming, man, take heart. That joy is coming. There's going to be a relief to whatever it is you're going through. If you're on the other side of all that mess and you can see that light and you're dwelling in the light, look back and give thanks because you've probably been through some stuff the last couple years. But be like David. Praise God for everything he's brought us through. Um, because he is proving himself to be good time and time again. That's my encouragement for you for today. Hope you guys are all doing well. Like always, if you ever need me, you need me to pray for you. You need me to, to stop by and say hello. Whatever it is, just let me know. You need me to give you a phone call. You need to text me. Hit me up. Y'all know where I am. Uh, but I love y'all. Hope everybody is doing good. It's Pastor Shea signing out.